Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for January 25th, 2023. Well, yesterday we had quite a little bit of uh, pushing around by the bulls. Unfortunately, the volume was very low and they really didn't change anything. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Looking here at the Dow, you can see we've got this wedging pattern that has been forming. Um, we've been creating lower highs and higher lows and a lot of confusion in this chart. And unfortunately, it also is incorporating very big price moves, uh, making it rather dangerous for um, retail traders. So taking a look at this, you can see we're pushing against a very substantial price resistance here in the Dow. And unfortunately, yesterday we ran right up there and we tagged it almost let's see our high there was 337.75 our high there was 337.72 so i think you could kind of count that as a possible tweezer top um here in the dow and now we've got a little bit of bearishness um, initially it looked like we were going to move up after the microsoft earnings report but then microsoft or um during their conference call issued a pretty gloomy forecast looking forward and um, that has retreated now to the downside so with Microsoft looking lower um, and Microsoft has a very big impact on uh, the Dow it's a, a very big weighted in the Dow itself that's going to have a little bit of an impact here on the diamond. So we're looking for a bit of a gap lower here this morning. Now the big question um, is if those bulls maintain that inspiration, where do we go from here? Well, just as our resistance up here is pretty strong, you can see we have a fairly strong support level right down in here. So maybe we don't go too terribly far if the sellers kind of start taking over here in the chart. But the real question will be is if those bears push through that level of support and then we come down here maybe testing testing um, this little uptrend to see if that holds as support and if that were to go well if that fails I would suggest we're coming down here maybe to the bottom of this little support area in the chart and those are some very big point moves um, that could occur in the Dow so be kind of careful here as you plan forward there's a little bit of uncertainty as we start uh, um, with these big tech earnings reports so watch that close now now if we take a look at our uh, technicals here in the chart, our technicals really didn't change or improve all that much. Notice that we did cross back above that 50 day moving average here and that 500 day, but this bearishness this morning, again, if this pushes on down, that's going to create that situation where we have a moving average squeeze to the top side. So we'll want to watch that closely. If those bears really start kicking in here, that could be a little bit of a problem for the Dow. If we take a look at the SPY, SP why very similar situation we're wedging out here and unfortunately we were not able to break that um, break that trend to the upside you can see we ran up there and tested that area here to the upside and and now with the Microsoft reports again Microsoft also has a very big weight in the SPY, we're looking for a little bit of a gap down here in um, SPY this morning. Um, if the bears continue that inspiration here on the day, well, I would look for some support down in here. And unfortunately, that's a pretty big move um, um, in the SPY. If that were to fail in here, then we would look for a test of this upside trend 
to see if that holds. If that were to fail, then I would look for some support down here off of that little consolidation area. So watch that close. Now, of course, if we reverse back to the upside, um, I should have said this in the Dow as well. If we reverse back to the upside, then look for a retest of that downtrend resistance and that opportunity to maybe break through that level. If we take a look at our QQQ, now QQQ is probably kind of a heartbreaker for um, a lot of bulls in the NASDAQ yesterday because we had a situation here where after the bell when Microsoft initially reported it was surging up and we were breaking this bear trend here in the chart but as of this morning we run the risk that we could be creating another lower high here in uh, the QQQ and unfortunately if we take a look at the chart we see that yeah, it's a fairly big move to come back down here to test this support level here in um, uh, the QQQ so watch that closely and that's going to be kind of combining here with this um, upside trend so if that holds we're probably in pretty good shape for maybe another attempt to break to the upside if that were to fail if we break on down through this area here, I would suspect the next level, well, then we start to really hurt some of these technicals here in the chart, and we would test some levels down here in that um, area of the chart. So watch that closely. Now, if we take a look at um, our moving averages, you can see that would be down around that 50-day moving average, so that possibility that it could hold right there does exist. So I would watch that closely if we put push down into that area. If we take a look at our IWM, well, the old IWM has been struggling with a big resistance level here in the chart. We continue to just pound against it, trying to get through. The good news is we did break that downtrend here in the chart, but boy, this has proved to be a pretty um, tough resistance area. And as you can see, we're showing a little bit of bearishness here this morning. So where's our support here in this chart? Well, I would suggest since we might be failing this area, um, our next decent level of support is right down in here. So that would be a fairly big move if those bears were to push us down through there. You can see there's a little teeny tiny support right in there that could hold us. Uh, that would be the best case scenario. So um, if the bulls find some inspiration here today, then we would be looking for these tests right back up here. See if we can finally break through this resistance in the chart. So watch that close. If we take a look at our VIX, interestingly enough, our VIX shows no fear here. Um, even as we headed into these kind of really uncertain big tech earnings reports, no fear here in the market. They just kept pushing and pushing to the upside. Um, no concern that the Fed is going to be raising rates, continuing to raise rates. No concern of recession. No concern of the um, some of these disappointing earnings reports out there. Um, no concern at all about um, the bearish um, um, economic reports. Just push to the upside. Well, that may change a little bit here today with that bearishness coming into the market, but it won't be severe unless we break this downtrend. And I think it really won't become all that severe unless we break through some of this resistance up here. So popping back up through there may add a little bit of fear to the market, but we'll need to be breaking through these downtrends and some higher levels here in the chart. If we just pop up into here, no harm, no foul. If we pop up into here, maybe Maybe a little bit more harm, but there is still that high probability that could be rejected. So watch that close. Um, bulls have been showing um, amazing, amazing amount of complacency, um, um, particularly when you put the framework of, of the consumer stress and the problems that we're seeing in our economic uh, numbers. So watch that close. Now, if we take a look at our T2122, our T2122, well, that rally yesterday pushed us right back up here into that uh, bearish reversal zone. And um, 
remember anytime we're up here we have at any point in time we could see those bears take over for a little bit doesn't mean we have to collapse it just means that we probably need a little bit of relief um, to the buying we've stretched it a little too far so watch that closely with the with the bearish move that we're seeing here in the pre-market then we would expect that to pull back a little bit today and relieve some of that pressure so watch that close now keeping in mind if we find something in the market today that um, inspires those bulls there really isn't a whole lot of room here for them to move but there certainly is a lot of room for the bears to do do some damage today so watch that our t2108 at the end of the day very very strong we did hook over just a little bit on our t2108 um, just you know 72 and a half percent of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average but if you look across here again we are in a situation where we have pushed these indexes into some pretty lofty places here um, and it's rare that we are able to hold those very long so the bears coming in this morning may not be a real big surprise to some probably a disappointment to a lot of folks that just want the market to go up and i certainly understand that but we've got some we still got some issues to work out here in the market before maybe it's it's uh, uh, the all clear has been sounded and then if we take a look at our t20 T2107, T2107 also hooking over a little bit, but holding up here very, very strong. And once again, uh, 55 and a half, 56 percent of the stocks holding above their 200-day moving average. We're up here in a very, very um, high level, as you can see. All of the congestion over here. Um, we've got. Um, we've really pushed this market pretty hard to the upside um, and ignored a lot of the economic data in the process so watch that closely if we start to pull back in here this actually could be a rather significant pullback here on t2107 but even if with that significant pullback we're still maintaining that upside trend if we can hold support in here Hey, we're in good shape. So um, keep an eye on that. Our T2101 continued to show that momentum here in the market despite the really weak volume yesterday. I mean, the volume was very anemic and probably just that uncertainty about uh, Microsoft. Today, we're going to have another uncertainty to be considering. That's going to be Tesla. Um, we know Tesla has been running through lots of major issues here um, recently, so we'll want to keep an eye on that after the bell today. Um, let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today and our economic calendar pretty light we don't have a lot going on here um, as you can see we've got um, mortgage applications that came in better than expected here this morning uh, growth of seven percent of mortgage um, 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 happening out there as those rates um, have pulled back um, in mortgages. Um, we've got a State Street investor that I doubt anybody's going to care about. Um, um, petroleum status, which of course is going to be very, very important. We've been seeing those oil stocks um, hold up pretty darn well, so watch that closely. That could be an interesting number today. Um, although this is not typically a market moving report, I think it will be interesting to see the survey of business uncertainty, see what businesses are thinking right now. And then we've got uh, some uh, bond auctions here to be paying attention to. One thing that I think we're going to really have to be focused on, um, despite the light uh, calendar today, boy, we're going to get hit hard tomorrow. Before the bell, durable goods, GDP, international trade, and jobless claims are going to roll out. We're also going to see before the bell, Chicago Fed. Um, activity, retail inventories, and wholesale inventories. It is going to be a full meal deal before the bell tomorrow, so get ready. Um, plan carefully as you're thinking about that. There are some def definite market moving um, reports in there, so watch that close. So we're going to follow that up with um, new home sales, um, natural gas report, Fed balance sheet, and some bond auctions. So going to be a busy, busy day. 
Um, and then Friday, we've got the core PCE number, which is the Fed's favorite number. We'll be watching that pretty closely heading into Friday. Um, let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Our earnings calendar is ramping up. We've got about 70 companies listed on the calendar today, and there's obviously no way I can cover all those. So if you want to collect, catch the full list of the notables for today, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you right over to the morning blog so that you can catch that full list. Some of those that I put on the list today, um, like ABT, we'll want to be uh, paying attention to. ABT will be reporting. Keep an eye on that. Looks like they're moving a little bit lower here this morning um, on that move. Uh, we're going to hear from um, um, ADP um, also. Looks like they're also moving just a little bit lower here this morning. Um, ASML, ASML forecasting good upside um, in their sales, but um, maybe not looking so good here just yet. Just a little pullback at the moment. Probably just the pressure in the market doing that. We're going to hear from Boeing uh, um, today, so keep an eye on that. Boeing has been one of those strong bulls in the Dow. We'll see how that performs here today. We're also going to hear from IBM later on today. Keep an eye out for IBM. We've got um, LRCX reporting. We're going to hear from Levi Strauss today, so watch for that one. We've even got some um, utilities in here today that we'll be reporting. We've got um, some insurance that we'll be reporting today. Um, we've got some semis, um, STX will be reporting today. So we've got a lot on our plate. And then last but not least, Tesla will be reporting after the bell. And um, as we're pressing into this downtrend here on Tesla, this could be a very important report. Is it going to be able to break that downtrend? Or are we going to continue this move lower here in Tesla? So watch that closely. That's a big weighted stock for the indexes. You'll want to keep an eye on it. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. <clears throat> But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you can please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you will be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, click that um, thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. I do truly, truly appreciate it. Um, I apologize. I, I didn't get to answering those uh, questions yesterday. I should be back on the case here today. So if you have questions or, or comments, um, I, um, I should be back to answering those today. So thank you everyone for taking the time. Let's also um, take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up. And please keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to do your own due diligence and be very, very careful here in these charts because there's a lot of potential activity with all of these um, um, data points coming our way in earnings and then of course economic data tomorrow so watch them pretty closely as you guys know um, I've been talking about gold for a long time now and gold just continues to hold up very very well I would expect a pullback on this at any time some kind of pullback a consolidation at any time in that chart but my goodness we've broken through some big resistance levels in the chart we're approaching some others here to be paying attention to. But gold's been on a tear to the upside, so any rest pullback consolidation may set up an opportunity for you and gold. Speaking of gold, we've got uh, Freeport McMoran reporting today. Keep an eye on that. Um, uh, Freeport has been moving through some resistance here in the chart and holding it as support. Uh, good report here. Could easily start sending that on higher. Maybe we start looking for some of these all-time highs here in copper for Freeport. Um, we're also going to hear from um, 
Steel Dynamics today. Keep an eye on Steel Dynamics. They will be reporting. Um, watch that closely. We've got an interesting pattern setting up here with this resting pullback holding some support. If this gets a decent report, continues to hold onto this trend to the upside, there may be some opportunities coming in Steel Dynamics. So keep an eye on that. Other metals are, or other metal stocks um, like SCCO would be one I would pay attention to, likely to get some knock on effects if there's a good report out of FCX. So watch that. And we could say the same for things like U.S. Steel um, um, and um, CLF would be another. Um, MT might be another that could get some knock on benefits um, if um, Steel Dynamics reports well today. So keep an eye on those. When it comes to tech, um, there's been some pretty good moves here in AMD. AMD putting in a, um, a a nice breakthrough here of some resistance. And maybe you've got to squint just a little bit to put, potentially see it, but you might be able to see a bit of a cup forming in here. And if this were to handle um, rest out here for a little bit, then you might look for some upside here in AMD. Now you want to keep in mind that it's going to report next Thursday. So it's probably a high risk trade to take considering uh, what we're seeing uh, initial um, um, things that we're seeing here on these big techs. And you also want to keep in mind that, well, that big old downtrend is still right there. We're just pressing against it. But I do think it's worth putting this on a list and keeping a close eye on it in case this one turns out to be one of those positive charts. Another one would be um, NVIDIA. Um, NVIDIA, notice that we're breaking through some resistance levels in the chart. In fact, if I go to a weekly chart here, you'll notice that we've got a pretty, very pretty, um, inverted head and shoulders pattern that is formed here on NVIDIA. So there's our neckline and we've broken that neckline with some sharp upside moves. So in that weekly chart, we just need a rest or a pullback to set up an opportunity in the trade and maybe follow that upside trend. Now on the daily, when we look at that, same thing is true. Um, this is a little bit stretched out at the moment and um, this is not going to report until um, the 22nd of February. So there's some time in here. If this were to kind of consolidate or rest, then there might be an opportunity that would set up here in NVIDIA. So keep an eye on that. That's a pretty decent looking chart. Um, you might want um, to be keeping an eye on some of these stocks coming up out of bottoms. Take a look at Generac. Generac coming up out of this bottom. Um, this is a nice looking chart I'm trying to form up in here. Been watching this closely. I think this initial alert that I put on here, if this can rest like this two or three more days, um, I'm going to move my alert up to here and then look for an entry into that trade. So keep an eye on Generac. Um, you might also want to keep an eye on Amazon. This was starting to form up interesting, um, but now with that unfortunate um, report or that disappointing report from Microsoft, a little bearishness showing up in here in um, Amazon. This still holds up as that one of those rounded bottom breakout patterns, but you'll want to watch that closely. I think this could go either direction. Put it on a list, keep it in there, watch it closely if you have um, inclination that this could be um, a good upside report, keeping in mind that it's going to report next, uh, looks like next Thursday, next Thursday. And I think I made a mistake um, um, right here. This is going to be, be reporting next Tuesday, next Tuesday here on AMD. So watch that. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks a bunch for being here today. I do truly appreciate it. Hope you, these uh, videos are useful or helpful to you. Um, and I want to say thank everyone so much who continues to support the channel, um, 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 sharing these videos out on um, their social media feeds. You guys are truly awesome. Everyone take care. Have an awesome day. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning.